Lucky Strike Pro, Casey Scanlon here, and we're talking about the scrounger. This is a very, very versatile bait, works all times of the year, but one of my favorite times to throw it is late winter. We're talking November, December, January. Uh, this is a really, really excellent bait on some of these clear water reservoirs. I want to look for really clear water in the reservoir I'm fishing, the clearest water I can find, and I also want to fit, look for timber, uh, shad in the backs of these creeks and coves, we call them guts. So a lot of times these shad will get in the backs of these creeks and coves and kind of suspend uh, and, and the bass will be right around them. So I'm going to fish this bait directly through uh, the shad themselves and usually over the top of trees. A lot of times those fish are hiding in those treetops. And another great place to throw it is on points. But the key to this is getting the right depth. So I usually like to put a uh, fluke style bait on the back of here like the Lucky Twitch. Um, and then I also like to throw a swim bait you know, something small like that. You can throw a variety of baits on here, but in the winter time, the bait's a little bit smaller uh, that the fish are typically targeting. So I kind of want to use smaller baits that, that imitate that bait. Typically, I start with a quarter ounce weight and I'll fish up to a half ounce. <clears throat> the key is to get this bait down. So no matter if I'm fishing points or over the top of treetops, I want to count this bait down to the right depth zone. So let's just say a treetop is in 30 foot of water. I want to count this bait down to where it runs just over the top of those trees in 30 foot of water and through the bait and through whatever I'm fishing. That way you keep it in the strike zone. I'm going to fish it with a slow retrieve, usually 8 to 12 pound line. I can throw it on a bait caster or a spinning reel, um, but I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to let it sink on slack line and then I'm going to use a real slow steady retrieve back to the boat and try to maintain the proper depth. So if I'm fishing a point, and the bottom's in 20 foot, I want to keep this bait just off um, the, the bottom of that point. You know, every once in a while I want it to kind of touch the point uh, or touch the bottom, and then I'm going to speed up my retrieve and kind of pull it off of there. So you want to maintain, um, you know, that, that depth, whether it's close to the bottom or close to the cover you're fishing, that's very, very important in getting strikes. So uh, once you find out that depth, kind of practice counting the bait down to that strike zone and uh, then starting your retrieve. Uh, but you can throw a variety of baits on here, but I, um, I usually like to try to imitate a shad as much as I can. And I use those smaller profile baits when we get into the winter months. So when you're out there this winter, try the scrounger. It's going to produce a lot of bites. This thing is, has a very subtle vibration to it that the fish really, really like. Check it out. I know you're going to like it.